Hey guys, so if you've been a part of the Discord for the better part of a week or so, I'd say you're kind of familiar with what's going on. But uh, if not, um, one of our guinea pigs named Waffles, um, he's gotten to the point where his health is declining pretty rapidly. And um, I just wanted to make a short little video just to show off our baby boy to the stream, to the family, before... Uh, before a few days from now or eventually he is uh, taken and uh, moves on to a better place. <laughs> we got him in February of uh, 2019 and he's been a really happy uh, pet and he's he's you know s squeaked at us he's ran up to us when we we came up to him with treats and stuff and he's been really interactive and fun um, but even though he is this way it still doesn't come with its downfalls I guess just because uh, he is our happiest pet, but he is also our most sick pet, and he got sick very quickly. He had a upper respiratory infection that was continuous. Uh, it it kind of blocked his breathing in a way. You know, he would be like like trying to breathe like that, and he'd be sneezing a lot. There's a, a thing, it's called a liver, liver shint, I think it's called, where the liver doesn't process all the toxic stuff out of his system and it pumps it kind of into his heart. Um, also now, they did another exam where he has a heart murmur or something, Lizzie said, so it's something that they can hear physically now. So, this little guy's a trooper, the vet said he shouldn't have lasted this long, so... I'm, I'm really glad that we could have been the ones to take care of him in the time that he was here. So, essentially, we are bringing him in uh, on Thursday of this week, and we are helping him across, uh, just because he's, he's in a place right now where he's not doing very good, and he's suffering, and even the vet said that the antibiotics that we're giving him aren't, uh, aren't treating him effectively, and they're not, they're not really working. So, with that being said, this little guy right here, uh, this little trooper, <laughs> is uh he's going soon so it's just it's sad it's really sad to think about mainly because you know or mainly because you want a long life for your pets you want a long life for the things that you care about and the thing that's hitting me the most is he has so much life in him and i don't want to see that gone but his health is at a place where he's suffering, so I want to... I don't want him to be in pain anymore, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, we gotta do what's right for him. Even, even the vet says it's time, so... I'm just, I'm just feeling down, and... You know, I'm sure this little man feels a lot worse than I do, but... You know, two more days from now, and he's not gonna be here. Just that hard. It's just really hard to think about. <sighs> oh, I just let you guys know him before he goes off. Our little man. <laughs> so, yeah, with that. Uh, so I just wanted him to wanted him to say hello to you guys and for you to meet him and just remember him with us for who he was a little excited happy guinea pig that loved life
Give me your voice. What are you guys doing? Where's that baby voice? You guys voice? having fun? Hey, little babies. Go get him. Get him, Waffles. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>